Hello everyone, welcome to this video, three looks, one palette using the Odin's Eye Red Dragon palette in collaboration with Judy. This is the third look that I've done using the Legendary Diversa collection, well the third three looks, one palette video. I've also done a look with the Hummingbird palette and the Giant Wolves palette. I will link them down below if you would like to check them out. And like I said, today is the Red Dragon palette. I love this palette. I enjoyed working with it so much. I do love a good neutral though. I'm not gonna lie, this, that one of my makeup weaknesses is that I love everything. So a neutral palette is definitely right up my alley and I think this is one of the most beautiful neutral palettes that I've worked with in a long time and one that really checks all my boxes in terms of having deep mattes, beautiful metallic shades, and there's truly nothing more that I can ask for from this. I did one that was a little bit more greeny neutral, one that was using more of the like peachy salmony shades in here, and then one this look using the multi-chrome, using the red. I had nothing but a good ass time using this palette. And let's just get into the three looks. Okay, hello. Welcome to the first look using the Red Dragon palette. I'm going to do a halo eye today using some of like this mustard and this green, like kind of the top half of the palette. I'm gonna start with the shade Sunrise. I've primed my eyes using my NARS Smudge Proof eyeshadow base and I have not set my lids because recently I've just started to like work on an unset base and I've been really enjoying it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And just run this through my crease in kind of like a rounded shape. me so happy I love it literally so much okay so now I'm going to take the shade Jade and I'm just gonna see how much I can build this up because I've used it once before in my first impressions video but I used it kind of sheer yeah so I'm just gonna see like how much I can build it and see how it looks I'm gonna put this in my outer corner and my inner corner of my eye and then connect it through my crease which is how I typically do my halo eyes. So I really like how um, Sunrise and Jade pair together. I mean, it's not super deep. Jade isn't like a super deep shade, but Obviously, I like dark eyeshadow, but it's a really, like, beautiful tone, especially paired together. Now, I'm going to take the shade, oops, Claw, this neutral brown at the top here. I'm going to see how, again, much I can build this up, and we're just going to see how it goes. So, I'm just going to concentrate this in my inner and outer corner as well, and connect it through my crease. And forth a little bit between jade and claw just and just very lightly buffer on the edges of the shadow I will say these shadows are blending like a literal dream so 
nice to work with. I'm quickly going to hop off camera and just um, cut the center of my crease just like in the middle of my eye and then I will be back. Okay, so I've gotten a little wild. A little wild and crazy. With my concealer here, I've basically covered my entire lid in concealer, which is not what I intended to do, but we're going to fix it together. So I'm going to take Jade. I'm going to stamp this on the inner and outer part of my lid. I'm also going to take a little bit of that just through the center of my crease. And then I'm going to take Claw and then build this back <laughs> build this back up in my inner and outer corners, blending it into jade. Okay, so I feel as though I have rectified the situation. I think I need to just quickly adjust this middle part here. Then I'm going to use a small, thin little brush, take claw, and just stamp this along the edge. Okay. We've gotten to a point that I'm happy with. So now I'm going to take the shade Solar Flare, which is a really beautiful like green duochrome with a warm base to it. Mm, so good. It looks so textured. And I'm just going to put this in the middle of my lid, on the middle of my lid. jade and then just um, buff this or not really buff and then just stamp this to transition into solar flare and then I'm going to take sunrise and just buff this over the edges over everything bring that yellow back and then I'm going to take solar flare on my finger and intensify that on my lid For my lower lash line, I'm going to switch it up a bit. I'm going to take the shade Dragon and put this all under my lower lash line. I'm going to take Claw and run this all along my lower lash line to deepen it up. And I'm going to connect this to my upper lid as well, just to merge everything together. And then I'm going to take Sunrise, the yellow mustard shade, and blend this out with that, with that shade <laughs> and use it to kind of tie my upper and lower lash line together. Then I'm going to take Solar Flare and just put this in the middle of my lower lash line. Oh my god, this shade is so nice. I'm going to take a black. I'm going to use the shade Annihilation from the um, Giant Wolves palette from Odin's Eye just to keep it in the family. And I'm going to use that to deepen um, my look up. So I'm going to take this on my inner and outer, the inner and outer parts of my eyes on both my top and bottom lid. Okay, I really love that a lot. For my inner corners, I'm just gonna take my face highlight. So today I'm using the Melt Digital Dust Highlighter in the shade Stargazer. All right, and that finishes everything. I'm just going to do some liner and put my lashes on, put something on my lips, and then I will be back to conclude. Okay, so this is the finished look. Bear with me if something looks weird. I think it looks okay, but this is a new setup, so I'm not fully used to how everything looks and whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, so on my lips I used the NYX Suede Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Cold Brew and the Prepa Beauty Lipstick in the shade Closer. Um, <clears throat> and I put a red liner in my waterline just to play into the red on my lower lash line. I don't have a lot to say other than this was a dream to use. Truly so nice. 
Um, I liked how buildable they were. Obviously, Jade wasn't like the... I couldn't build it to be like that much darker than it is, but it blended so, so nicely. Claw actually built up pretty well. I mean, obviously, it's not the darkest shade that's ever, you know, been done, and it's not the darkest shade across these three palettes. There is the shade Aurora, which is more of like a plummy, purpley toned brown, so I didn't use it today, but it is darker than Claw. But it is good to know that this palette is versatile. You can do um, more of a neutral leaning look because Claw can, like, build up to be pretty dark. Obviously, I did end up deepening everything up with the black, but I typically do that anyway. I just think this is so nice. I'm so excited to do some more like neutral looks with this palette. The Shimmer Solar Flare is just absolutely stunning. And that is all I have to say. So I will see you in the next look. Oh, by the way, also my lashes are Bold Faced Lashes In just for you. I believe is the styling and that's all okay <laughs> hello welcome to the second look using the red dragon palette um, from Odin's eye so I'm going to do something kind of like I was gonna say warm toned <laughs> I mean like more peachy I'm going to start with the shade serene which is this peachy shade here and I'm just going to use this as my initial transition shade and run this through my crease. to take the shade of fire which is this deeper warm like ready brown and I'm going to take this on the outer part of my eye so the outer half basically my outer corner and then halfway through my crease oh this is beautiful Then for the front part of my crease, I'm going to take the shade Yin, which is more of like a burnt orange shade, and just put that right in the first half of my crease. And now I'm going to take the shade Aurora, which is this really beautiful, like dark, plummy brown. And I'm going to use that through my, in my outer corner, my, my, <laughs> and I'm going to put that in my outer corner and run it through my crease to deepen this look up. to cut my crease so I'm going to quickly do that and then I'll be back okay so my crease is cut so now I'm going to what am I gonna do so I'm gonna take fire which was the reddish shade um, and I'm gonna stamp this on my lid a little bit and then I'm going to take yin and lightly run that over the front part of my crease and then I'm going to take Aurora, which was that darkest uh, brown shade, and deepen up my outer corners and run this very lightly over the um, edge of my crease as well. So now I'm going to take the shade Amber, which is a beautiful amber toned shade. I'm going to spray that 
and put that in the middle of my lid. Now I'm going to take the shade Overheat, which is another really beautiful like peachy shimmer. I'm going to spray that as well and put that in the front part of my crease. And then I'm just gonna go back, <laughs> my voice always cracks, and then I'm going to go back and forth between these two shades and just make sure that they're blended together. I mean, look, oh my god, I want to like lick this look. It's so delicious. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to take a little bit more fire, just a touch, and blend that into amber. And then... I'm going to take um, Serene, which was that peach, and just buff this over the edge of my shadow, keep everything blended. Please excuse my laundry machine. I don't know like how different tonally my crease is, even though I use two shades, but this whole look looks just so nice. Okay, and then I'm going to take Amber and Overheat on my fingers and use that to uh, use that and use my fingers to intensify these shades on my lid mm -mm -mm. now I'm going to take fire and run this all underneath my eyes and then I'm gonna take Aurora and use that to deepen my lower lash line and then I'm going to take Serene and blend this out. Um, for my inner corners, I'm going to take Overheat, which is the shade that I used in the inner part of my eye. I'm going to give that a little spray and plop it on in there. And then I think I'm also now going to take Amber and put that on the inner part of my lower lash line just kind of tie the top and bottom lid together and then finally I'm going to take a matte black I'm going to take the shade Annihilation again from the um, Giant Wolves palette and put that in my inner corners or put that in my outer corners Okay, and this is what I'm going to leave it at. I'm going to just probably put my face highlighter on my brow bone. I stamped myself in the face with black eyeshadow, so that's great. I'm just using this same melt highlighter that I used in my first look, and then I'll be back to show the final look. Okay, and this is the finished look. By the way, I used the Way Wave Spray for the first time. I got this as like a point perk, and I am I love it. It makes my hair, and this is just my hair air dried. I mean, naturally I have like little wave to my hair, but it makes it just so textured and like chunky and tech, like I just, and tussled, I just, I'm, I'm a fan. Okay, that's not what this video is about at all. So, this is, yeah, the finished look on my lips. I used the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Sandstorm or Sandstone. Where is it? Sandstorm, and I use the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. And that's it. I love this look so much. This is, oh, I thought my camera wasn't recording for a second. I feel like this could easily become my, like, go-to neutral palette. It has everything I want, and I love, like, the rusty, warm, like, reddish, tones to this palette. The shimmers are beautiful. I am into this look 
so much. That's all I have to say. Let's get into the third and final look. It's already 11.46 a.m. and it's snowing outside, so that's sad. Um, because I was on the phone with Sante Quebec this morning for an hour and a half. So, <laughs> not a great start to the day, but anywho, I'm going to, I'm very excited. I'm going to use this Luna shade today all over my lid, but I'm going to start using the shade Sunrise. And I'm just going to use this as a transition shade. Just run this all through my crease. Now I'm going to take the shade Dragon. I love a red, so I'm very excited to use this. And I'm going to put this on my outer corner and run it through my crease. shade it is a red with like almost a touch of orange so it looks just it doesn't blend out pink which I just love this so much I'm going to take Aurora and use this to deepen up my outer corner and my crease some more and now I'm going to take the shade Luna I'm gonna spray that like all the shimmers that I've used and just put this all over my lid My lighting now isn't really like super great for showing the shifts of shadows because I don't have like any lighting to my side, which is sad, but it's so pretty. There's like a green sh olive shift to this shade that is beautiful, but you don't know if it's going to show up on camera. I'm going to take Aurora. Actually, what am I going to do? First, I'm going to take the shade Dragon and just blend this. A little bit more over my crease in the front of my eye maybe I'll put a little bit on my lid as well and then I'm going to take Aurora and run that over the front of my crease and use that to blend Luna out more and then I'm also going to use Aurora to deepen my outer corner some more then I'm gonna take sunrise and blend this over all the edge and then I'm gonna take Luna on my finger. This feels exactly the same as all of the other like multi-chrome shades and the other two palettes. Oh, I wonder if you're gonna be able to... Probably not see this shade, but it's so pretty. I'm just gonna take Luna on my finger and intensify that on my lid. I wonder if I... As I drop all of the... I wonder if you can see it from the side, maybe? Oh, is my eyes not even in the... <laughs> can you see it? I don't know. <laughs> now I'm going to take Dragon and just run this all along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Aurora and use that to deepen my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take Sunrise and blend my lower lash line out. Now I'm going to take Overheat, give that a little spray, and put that on my inner corners. It's not super bright, but I think it'll work. And then I'm finally going to take a black again, so I'm going to take this same Annihilation shade from the Giant Wolves palette 
and I'm just going to put this in my outer corners. Okay, so this is it. I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to just put my face highlighter. I'm using the same melt one um, that I've been using through this whole video on my brow bone. I'm going to do some liner, lashes, fix myself up and then be back to conclude. Okay, you guys, and this is the finished look. On my lips, I used, this is new, this is um, the NYX Lip Pencil in Espresso. I recently got this. I blended it out with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Sandstorm, not new, and I put the ColourPop um, Crumb Lipstick in the shade Butter on the, in, on the inside of my lips. <laughs> I haven't used this in a while and I can I feel like this could become my new fave lip combo not gonna lie um thoughts and feelings oh I just put a black in my waterline and I have random lashes from Amazon on if you're wondering thoughts and feelings on this palette very similar to how I felt about the other two palettes I love it I love it a lot I had no issues with it at all um, and I think that this is, oops, let me make sure I'm in frame here. I think that this is an absolutely beautiful neutral palette and I can see myself reaching for this so much, truly. I love that you have like more neutral tones, some yellowy tones up here, like also with the green and this really beautiful greenish, um, shimmer shade. You have some really fiery, like warm, delicious tones down here and then some more peachy shades. I think... It really spans the range of a neutral palette. I love that it has depth to it, which is something that I feel like I always complain about. It has really beautiful shimmers, deep mattes. I literally can't ask for anything more. The mattes applied like all the other palettes really beautifully. The shimmers in here, there are less like very is less variation between the shimmers. I feel like the shades Solar Flare, Overheat, and Amber are all very similar, like very creamy, textured, sparkly shades. And then the shade Luna, which is the multi-chrome, is a, like basically the exact same formula as the other multi-chromes in the other two palettes. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, at the end of the day, it's going to be personal preference, but don't count this out just because it's a neutral palette, okay? It's not boring. Don't call this palette boring. So rude. Okay? Really great. And that's literally all I have to say is that I just enjoyed working with it so much, and I can see myself genuinely reaching for it all of the time. Let me get back into the middle of the frame. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what look was your favorite. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.